Hi, I am Agus Sardiman, and in this video, I will talk about how to convert any VST drum, like Easy Drum, Addictive Drum, or any other VST drum, and convert them to mono audio multitrack in Studio One. Okay, let's start. For the example, I have this MIDI drum. I use the free VST drum, MT Power Drum Kit 2. And for mixing this drum, I need to make this MIDI drum to become a multi-track mono audio. Usually, in another DAW, there's an easy solution for this. But the problem with Studio One, if we change this VST drum to audio, they become a stereo track. So I made a solution to achieve that. This is what I do. I think this solution works for any other VST drums. Okay, let's go. First, I root the audio output of each drum instrument in the mixer to its own channel. For example, this kick, it's in output 1, and the snare is output 2. Yeah, this, this is side stick, it's the same with snare. Hi-hat, close hi-hat, and open hi-hat, output 3, and high tom yeah, output 4, mid-tom. Output 5, low tom, output 6, and maybe the crash and left right. Any other output you have to select in another output. For example, this right bell is the same uh, in the crash, so we made it like we made it the same. It's output 7. Oh, I think it's output 8 because usually drummer play in the right hand. Okay. Yeah, China output 8 too. Okay. So you go to your drum VST and set the output for each instrument. And then you go to the Studio One mixers, press F3. And you go to the instrument. If this not showing up, you click this. This button, instrument button, to show this. And then in the down pointing arrow, click and choose expand. Uh, now you see the other output of the VST drum. Yeah, you just activate one by one. If you try this and convert this to audio, the result is the audio track uh, become a stereo track. But I won't need to become a mono track because that's how real drum exists in the real world. Like kick in mono, snare in mono, and so on and so on. Okay, so what I do is, I made a bus of each of this instrument drum. This is what I do. I right clicked it and just add bus for selected channel. And there's the bus, the new bus. I change it to kick. And then I go to the rest of the drum instrument. I 
Just check it by soloing each track. Let me try it. I solo the kick track. It should be just a kick drum. Okay, it's a snare. Yeah, it's open and close hi hat, and so on and so on. Yeah, okay. Now the important part is to change this bus to mono output. So what you should do is click this channel mode from stereo to mono. After that, you just set the loop point where you want to render it to audio. This is just for example. I go to song menu and export stems. In the sources window, in the channel section, I click the none button. And then I choose the bass, kick, snare, hi hat, tom, cymbal, yeah, okay. And then I go to this file name prefix. Maybe I just call it drums. And it is the format of the audio file wave. And I set export range to between loop. You can set it to song start or end. And then, in the option, you choose this import to track. Yeah, import to track means that what you export will be imported back to the same project. I suggest you didn't do this because if you have a MIDI drum and the audio tracks, the project consume more CPU power and RAM, of course. Yeah, so it's better to have a new project or new song with just audio files after that yeah just click the ok there's a clipping indicator here if you want to go back yeah, just just yes or delete this file the clipping one and turn down the volume and repeat again. If this is still clipping, you can check if the result is not distorted. You can just ignore this. That's the result. You have each instrument of drum in mono. For example, this is kick. So now you have each drum in its own track in audio. And if you want to mix this by using EQ compressor, etc., you can do it like the real drum. Okay, hope this video helps you. If it does, like this video and share. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.